Friend Hill. Mr. Speaker, the proceedings at Defence Committee are both reprehensible and unparliamentary. The Defence Committee Chair has unlawfully used her authority to subvert the will of the committee and frustrate their ability to conduct the critical study into the allegations of sexual misconduct in the military. As a former officer, she swore to put service to country ahead of her own personal gain. Yet she has turned her back on women in uniform by preventing the committee's work. Will the member for Carlton Nada Carlton inform this House when she will urgently resume Defence Committee. The Honourable Chair of the Committee, if she's on. Mr. Chair, as we will go to the yet. vice chair, the honourable. <clears throat> well, th thank you, Mr. Speaker. As the vice chair of the Standing Committee on National Defence, I want to thank the member for Aurora Oak Ridge's Richmond Hill for her strong and sincere leadership on this file. I share her disgust with the contemptuous Liberal Actions Act and disgraceful obstruction of the Defence Committee. The member for Canada Carleton, in particular, is preventing us from investigating sexual misconduct in the Canadian Armed Forces. As committee chair, she is allowing Liberal members to block key witnesses hearing and suspended the committee with no date or time for resuming debate. The member for Canada Carleton must immediately end the cover-up for the Prime Minister, which he's doing at the expense of our women and men in uniform. The